Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the another tutorial and another chapter as well. So this chapter is the electric motor. And this chapter is from the Honda. And today we will start from MCQs 1 up to MCQs 10. So today we will complete 10 MCQs in this video. So let's start from first MCQs. The full load current of a 20 horsepower, horsepower 500 volt DC motor will be close to 100 ampere, 60 ampere, 35 ampere, 15 ampere. So actually, as we know that we have a well-known formula that is P is equal to I V. So P is given to us that is 20 horsepower, but this is horsepower and one horsepower is equal to 746 watt, which is the SI unit. So we need to convert this horsepower into watt. So your 20 horsepower will be equal to 20 times 746 watt. So this is your power. So P will be equal to 20 times 746 watt, and that is equal to current times 500 volt because voltage is given to me that is 500 so my current will be equal to i am going to use the calculator so that will be equal to 20 times 746 and that is equal to 14920 divided by 500 so that is equal to 29.84 so that's equal to 29.84 so which value is near to 29.84 is it 100 no is it 60 no is it 15 no so 35 is near to 29.84 and the question is also that motor will close closer to so option c is the correct answer okay next mc goes is the speed of a dc motor may be varied by varying feed current applied voltage resistance in series with armature any of the above so actually the uh, speed your speed is directly proportion to the big emf divided by flux and your flux depend on the feed current in case of dc motor and your big emf is equal to voltage applied voltage minus armature current, armature resistance in case of motor. In case of generator, this will be EG, generated voltage will be equal to plus load plus IARA. This is in case of generator. Okay, so the question is the speed of a DC motor may be varied by varying feed current. Yes, if you vary the feed current, then your flux will vary due to which your speed will get varied. The speed of the motor may be varied by applied voltage. Yes, if you vary the applied voltage, then it will vary your back EMF and back EMF will vary the speed. The speed of this motor may be varied by varying the resistance in series with armature. Yes, this is the resistance in series. This is the resistance in series with the armature. So if you vary this, then it will vary your back EMF. And if back EMF is varied, then it will vary your speed. So option D is the correct answer. That is any of the above. Okay, next MCQs is. In DC motor, the condition for maximum power is supply voltage is equal to half of the back EMF. Supply voltage is equal to two square root times back EMF. Back EMF is equal to two times supply voltage back emf is equal to half of the supply voltage so actually the condition for the maximum power is that your back emf must be equal to the half of the supply voltage so actually the graph will be like this this is my y axis this is my x axis so the curve will be something like this. So here we have 
efficiency here we have maximum power so uh, this is your maximum power so your power maximum power will be when this condition is satisfied option d your back emf is equal to half of the supply voltage and on maximum power your efficiency will be equal to 50 percent your efficiency will be equal to 50 percent so option d is the correct answer okay next mcqs is if condition for maximum power for a dc motor are established the efficiency of the motor will be 100 percent 90 to 95 percent 81 percent less than 50 percent so that is the less than 50 percent so option D is the correct answer. Okay, next MC goes is a 200 volt DC machine has an armature resistance of 0.5 ohm. If the full armature current is 30 ampere, the induced EMF when the machine acts as a generator, act as a motor. So actually, uh, in case of generator, the EMF will be equal to voltage plus iara in case of motor the emf will be equal to supply voltage minus iara so the uh, let's do it for generator first so the Armature resistance is 0.5 ohm. Armature current is 30 ampere. Supply voltage is 200 volt. So that will be equal to your generated EMF will be equal to 200 plus 0.5 times 30. So this will be equal to 15 so 250 your emf will be equal to 15 volt okay so in this case your emf will be equal to 200 minus 0.5 times 30 so that's equal to 200 minus 15 and that is equal to 185 so first generator, so this is 215 to 185. So uh, 215 and 185. So is there any option which is 215 and 185? So yes, option C is the correct answer. Okay, next MC goes is, the speed of a DC motor is always constant, directly proportion to back EMF, directly proportion to flux, and inversely proportion to the product of back EMF and flux. So actually, uh, in case of DC motor, your speed is directly proportion to the back EMF, and this is the inversely proportion to the flux. So that is the option B. So option B is the correct answer. Okay, next MC goes is, the ratio of starting torque to full load torque is this in case of shunt motor, series motor, compound motor. So, Actually, the starting torque is high in case of series motor and it is low in case of shunt motor. And the question is the ratio of starting torque to the low torque. Starting torque to the low torque is least. So it is high in case of series motor because here the starting torque is high. But in case of shunt motor, the starting torque is not too much high. So this Option A is the correct answer. Okay, next MC goes is, which of the following is not necessary the advantage of DC motor over AC motor? High starting torque, wide speed range, better speed control, low cost. So uh, this is the advantage of high starting torque is the advantage of DC motor over AC motor. High wide speed range is also the advantage, better speed, control is also the advantage of DC motor over AC motor but low cost is not the advantage of DC motor over AC motor actually uh, the uh, DC motor is costlier than the AC motor and uh, the main reason is because of the its complex rotor 
the uh, the rotor design is the most important factor in making the dc motor more expensive and also we uh, you will find lot of manufacturers of ac motor uh, in here as compared to dc motor so that's why the cost is high okay next mcq is which motor will have least percentage increase of input current for the same percentage increase in torque series motor shunt motor separately excited motor cumulative compound motor so uh, the correct option is option a that is the series motor and that's why we called it a high torque motor okay this is we call the series motor as a high torque motor so if here if you uh, here we have least increase of input current for the same percentage increase in torque okay Okay, next MCQ is the mechanical power delivered by a DC motor is maximum when the ratio of back EMF and applied EMF is half. So that is 0.5, which is equal to 1 by 2. So this is the end of this video. If you have any question, you can post it that question in the comment box. I will try to answer you there. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.